I really want to make functional products. I don't want something that someone's going to get and put on a shelf and no one's going to look at it. I want something that people are going to use. To me, that's really important. Uh, I think that gives what I do some longevity and my products longevity. So there are a tremendous number of people who need bottle stoppers for wine bottles. Um, I know the real serious wine enthusiasts always say that there's never any wine left over to put a, a bottle stopper on, but there are some people who only have one or two glasses a night and they do need something. And so I started getting into making wine bottle stoppers and there are some really nice kits and nice things you can do. And an offshoot of that is that there's a company that makes the, the hardware, if you will, the, the stopper part, not the decorative part, and they now make the same thing for whiskey bottles. So I started taking nice pieces of wood and putting labels on them or the, 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 the liquor bottle label and put that onto the, um, onto the pen. I've done that with a number of things, which again is a really nice thing if you're a bourbon drinker or a scotch drinker, whatever it is, to have a bottle opener or bottle stopper, I'm sorry, that you can actually put onto the bottle and it's a lot nicer than a standard looking bottle and it's got some nice personality to it. And again, it makes a great gift for someone. They're not that expensive. And if you're a bourbon enthusiast, a cigar enthusiast, to get something with your bourbon, your cigar on it that you can then use, I think that's a huge plus. This is a, this is a standard, this, this silver part, no, sorry, the gold part. The gold part is for the, for the bottle, and then this is just a Jack Daniels label um, that I put on. And you can see this is relatively small, so it fits into a whiskey bottle. Um, this is something that's obviously for a bottle of wine. Uh, the nice thing about these stoppers is that, unlike a lot of stoppers, they stand up so they, they've got a, a flat surface so when you take them out they don't fall over. And again, I can do this with any kind of wood, any kind of embellishment. This is something that I just recently worked on, which is actually some glass from a very good, uh, my, my niece's wedding. Um, we're Jewish and at the end of the ceremony they step on a glass and I took that glass and cast that in acrylic and made that into a nice wine bottle stopper, which will have some real significance for them. So I'm someone who's really, if I'm passionate about something, I'd like to incorporate that into my life. I'm a recently new cigar smoker, uh, which probably is not the best thing for a physician to say, but um, I, I really do enjoy it. And cigar smoking is something I've really become very fond of. I also like whiskey and make drinking bourbon. So I make a lot of things that have bourbon incorporated into it, like bourbon bottle stoppers and Cigars, um, I've been taking pens and putting cigar labels on the pens, which are nice gifts for people who smoke cigars. And I also make cigar holders and things that, again, it's, if you know someone who likes cigars, you can always buy them more cigars, but this is a chance to buy them something that's a little bit more permanent, maybe not quite as um, expensive as a, a, a you know, really expensive cigars might be. And it really does sort of manifest my interest in my hobby. And I've been able to turn that into my business. So a cigar holder is really not that difficult to make. Again, as with most things, I start out with a piece of wood. I've got to drill some holes through it so I can put tubes into the wood, turn it on the lathe, shape it, polish it, and then there's a kit that has all the hardware, the, the, the fasteners and the cutters and things like that, the punch cutter, that are all part of a kit that just gets assembled and then, the, uh, and then it's made. It's actually a pretty simple process. I try to use some really exotic woods, which is nice. One of the nice things about doing smaller things like I do is um, there are some beautiful exotic woods from all over the world. Um, I try as much as possible to use species that are safe, that they're not in the danger list, that they're protected. So that's a big important thing in terms of being ecologically responsible, shall we say.